Okay, today we're going to look at some more indefinite integration and do a few examples that are a bit more tricky. So, we know that um, integration is the reverse process of differentiation. Therefore, if d by dx of some function f of x equals this function small f of x, then the integral of the small f of x dx must equal big f of x plus c. That seems to be stating the obvious. Let's do <coughs> um, a couple of examples. So we're going to show that d by dx of 3x squared minus 4 to the power 8 equals 48x 3 x squared minus 4 to the power 7. So let y equal 3x squared minus 4 to the power 8. I'm going to use the chain rule. Let's find dy by dx. So we will have 3x um, to be 3 times 2 is 6x comes out here and then we've got the 8 coming down and then our, we've got our 3x squared minus 4 raised to the power 7 so that will give us 48x 3x squared minus 4 to the power 7 that's what we want to show hence Here. find the integral of 7x of 6x sorry 3x squared minus 4 to the power 7 dx now let us look at this we've got 3x squared minus 4 to the power 7 and here we've got 3x squared minus 4 to the power 7 so far they're equal. Is there anything we can do to make the 6x equal the 48x? Well, if we think 6 times 8 is 48. So if we take this and then make that equal to 1 8 48x 3x squared minus 4 the power 7 dx we've got the same thing here as the derivative of what we started off with um, just I'll take a wee moment let's just go back and see what we did I've multiplied this by an eighth but so it's equal 6 times 8 is 48 so if you were to do 48 divided by 8 we get back to our 6x. So now, keep our 8 out here, the integral of this is it's like we're integrating we're integrating the derivative this derivative takes us back to this. So we come back to our 3x squared minus 4 to the power 8. And we still need to remember our constant. So I hope that makes sense.